following after that we did a, a full autopsy a repeat of what had been done earlier on and uh, what we saw is uh, the JF had severe head injuries which were also seen in the first autopsy and there were some uh, fracture of the I think I can't remember which right or left uh, and, and there were also some fractures in the, in the, in the neck, the, the, the cervical spine. So this is a person who died because of very, very severe injuries, which uh, we need to look into. And uh, remember, there were also some allegations which were, which were there, flying around, which uh, that's actually the main reason why we came here, to also take care of those allegations. So other than post-mortem, we take some samples, which will help us in the analysis and uh, find the truth of what led to the death of Jeff. So we've taken some swabs uh, from the anal region. Remember, there were some allegations of sodomy. So we've taken some swabs from the anal region, which will undergo DNA. We've taken samples for toxicological analysis. Uh, we want to know whether there were some toxins uh, involved, or whether there were also any drugs or all that involved. So that now, when all these uh, samples come to us uh, from the lab, we'll sit down and analyze everything and come up with a conclusive result. That is all, yeah. Lastly, uh, yes. probably tell us, um, were there any inconsistencies in the first uh, autopsy and this one? Are there any inconsistencies? Remember, uh, there's usually what we call post-mortem artifacts. These are uh, changes which come as the body stay on. So it's very, very difficult for me to say whether what they saw exactly is what I saw right now because there's body decomposition and all that. So it's very, very difficult. Yes, yes. But uh, for the fractures which they saw, I saw them. In fact, the, the skull was seriously fractured up to the base of the skull, which is very, very severe. Yes. Because we usually send the samples to the government analysts, in the past I've promised people only to be disappointed because they are not in my hand. So it's a bit difficult for me to, to say. But you can follow up with the officers because usually when the report comes back, it goes to them. Then they bring to me. But uh, I'm sure you have a good relationship with them. You can just follow up with them. They'll, they'll be able to update you. Yes, yes. Um, you could tell us, other than the, the allegations of Sodom, there are also allegations that he allegedly jumped from the 10th floor. Yes, yes. Window. Have you measured the width of the... We've, we've measured the width of the chest mm -hmm. and uh, we've given the police. They are going to... Because I, I know they were at the scene and they measured the window. So they're going to, to, to compare what we've measured and what they're at the scene so that now they can conclude uh, uh, fairly. Yes, yes.